there, welcome to the Perky Beck Show. I'm Amber Delight Beck, and I'm going to tell you about what I do for my extra, extra special routine for getting ready for bed, or for a sweet, uh, sweetheart tonight with me and John. So, I had a shower, and I used purple shampoo. I have a conditioner that I use too, but um, I'm in Minot, and I did not pack it, so I had to buy some Equate purple shampoo that's meant for silver and a blonde hair to kind of take out the brass thing, and I, d I use that, but it's it's just, you know, when you lather it up in your hair, it just turns so, so light purple, it's so lavender, and like just not even a dark pigment, so there's, there's that, then um, I wash my face, and the water here is really cool, there's three showers here, one of the showers, it's like, uh, it's like a really cool spray shower, um, it's not it's not heavy drops, it's like a mist of spray, like a, a ton of mist. So having that tapping up against my skin and my face, I know it's got to do some good. Um, I put some deodorant on, of course, and I already painted my nails. And let's see, what did I do for my face? So after I washed my face, I put some of this toner on. It's Wamisa. Um, green tea, kale, antioxidants, bouncy, silky, watery. I've... I've shown this before on other um, videos, but I wanted to show it again because I love this stuff. It's awesome. And then I used, let's see what else did I use. Then after that, I used this Merle Norman Energizing Concentrate. It has vitamin C in it. Apply thin layer on cleansed and toned skin before moisturizer. And then I used this neck and chest. Brilliant C for Norm, Merle Norman, and nobody's paying me to say all this stuff, <laughs> but I like it. It's what I had available to myself. So, okay, and then at the dollar store, I buy these things. These are things for um, age-defying dark circles and puffiness treatments. They're for under your eye. This one says age-defy ultimate dark spot corrector. I have a dark spot up here. Had it for years since I was 30, so going on almost nine years, and um. I've been using it, and it's still there. So I'm not sure that it's working. But I'm a huge fan of people. Like, I'm a huge believer in keeping things moist under your eyes, especially. And I can tell this has, like, a really tacky, you can see it's shiny. A shiny, tacky feel, like, um, leaving, like, a residue on my skin. And to me, that makes me feel like it's working. That's just my thought, I guess. I glued some lashes on. I used actually some harder glue, the glue you're supposed to use on individual lashes because it's a harder glue. They might not come off tonight, and if they don't, that's okay. I'll recurl them tomorrow and wear them for the day and for the show because we're here all week, so I'm okay with that. If they come off, I'll just re-glue them again, and that's fine with me too. I didn't bring a hair dryer, so we get to have wet hair today. And let's see what else. Oh, <clears throat> and then I bought this stuff at the Boys and Girls Ranch today. It's Nexus City Shield um, Sheer Frizz Resistance. And I think when you've destroyed your hair the way I have, it might be good because it gets really frizzy. Like when it's dried up, you can when it, it's dry and I've got it like styled or something, you can tell that it's a little bit frizzy at the end. So this is nice. It smells really nice. It smells really good, actually. Okay, what else did I do? Oh, okay, and then I got this at the Boys and Girls Ranch, which is delicious smelling bear, pear blossom, shea, and vitamin E air from Bath and Body Works, but it was at the Boys and Girls Ranch. It smells wonderful, and then today I went to Walmart and bought me some hard candy. I got the more condensed smelling stuff because it smells good. It smells like candy. I'm so glad it's called hard candy. I love the pink bottle. It's cute putting some on right now because that was my plan to smell like pears and hard candy. It smelled like a straw a hard strawberry candy. It smells really good. Okay, let's see what else are we gonna do. Okay, we're going to do up our face today. We're having a sweetheart night because we came in on a Monday. We don't have to perform till tomorrow night. John and John's been busy um performing with the Stephen James band last week in Casper so we haven't had any evenings together so we're gonna have a nice date night tonight where we get to smooch and snuggle and all that kind of fun stuff so um 
Now what I'm going to do is brush my teeth, but I'm not going to put that on video. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to push pause and I'll come right back and then we'll get on to the next steps. Alright, I brushed my teeth and to top off that awesome, cold, nice, clean feeling, I am going to open up this extra gum. I love this stuff. My mom had this stuff when I was a kid and I love the taste of it. The peppermint reminds me of candy canes and there isn't any other peppermint flavored gum or any kind of flavored mint flavored gum that I love as much as I love this extra except for they do have that um what is it called like they come in a little like boxish kind of looking plastic box anyways it's an iceberg I can't remember it's really mint minty but most of the time I just don't love gum as much as I love this I thought double mint was pretty good when I was a kid too double mint's pretty good but extra, that's like, it goes back. It takes me back. So, Mom, thanks for introducing me to this peppermint flavor. Mm -hmm. Yum. Awesome. All right, so I brush my teeth, and then I've got this cool mint extra gum moving along. Okay. So, my eyebrows are not done dead. Like, I've been letting them grow out because I had over plucked them and so there was some balding and stuff so I'm still letting them grow out because it's just taking such a long time for them to kind of fill in I can see they are filling in quite a bit here like in the center and like it's getting better but it's not ready yet so okay hold on let me grab some a mirror so that I can use this so we can draw in our like to draw in and add in our our brows and since I already put my lashes on, usually that's the last step for doing makeup, but I'm, I put it on first, and then we'll just do our makeup around it. Um, I guess while I'm here, I guess I could do some lipstick. Actually, I want to use liner for that as well, so I'll need a mirror for that too. So just a minute. All right, first things first, before we forget, let's go ahead and fill in our lashes. This is a sales booster from, I want to say L'Oreal, but it's probably not. It's, um... Um, Lancome. It's Lancome, it's not L'Oreal. I wanted to make sure I, I knew it was an L, but I didn't want to say the wrong thing. So, all right. So, our lashes. <laughs> let me hide my face. <laughs> all right. I need to make sure that you guys can see this, okay? And I'll just work on my real lashes. Um, blending in with. These falsies, and I, I thought that there was a bigger gap, but I'm seeing that the gap is not as big as I thought it was. So I am going to just tread lightly here with this mascara and this booster, and then just get it done and move forward to the next step. I was thinking when you looked at it, there was a bigger gap between the lashes. I mean, you can see this. This didn't stay like. Oh, it's glued down a little bit. Okay, that's good. And so that's right. That's good. Okay, good. Well, that blue is doing really good then. All right. Now where did I put that mascara? Right here. Let's do the mascara. So I was thinking there was just this huge gap. But there's not. So we got this. Um, so I had done extensions this week. But the thing is is um instead of me being the one who picked it the glue or the way that i glued it was what failed me and they just fell out super easily i had sweat in the car all day like i've been in the car all day and it was hot we don't have air conditioning so i'm thinking like the natural oils for my eyes for my eyelids and everything had just really created a barrier and it didn't stay so they didn't stay normally like I wasn't picking the good thing is is that my lashes the extensions that I had came out but they didn't come out with extra real lashes that were live <laughs> so good so when they came out they excuse me came out on their own with like a problem because of the glue I don't know if there's like a higher grade of glue than it might be because um, I bought that like at Ulta in in the in the glue section 
maybe there's like um like a professional place that you can purchase glue that's like maybe super glue or something I don't know all right so I got that let's go ahead and line our lips I'm gonna line our lips with the same brown tone that I'm going to use for my brows hmm. I put it I pulled everything out of my box and I'm using to hold the camera on top of so okay hold on let me find it Okay, I found it. This is kind of like a cinnamon brown. It's actually called Eye Defining uh, Glamour Adventure Bronze, and it's a Mary Kay product. I had a friend from Jackpot that gave this to me. She gave me quite a bit of awesome, like, high-end makeup, and I'm so grateful for So I'll go ahead and do my brows, and then I'll do my lip lining with it. So let's go ahead and just kind of, I'm going to strike up, like, move in an upward stroke here to kind of give it um the brow some width like if you're looking at it like it was some kind of like a caterpillar or something we want it to be a chubby caterpillar we don't want it to be a skinny hairless caterpillar and usually i go through and i like underline first but i want to make sure that i've got a good design line here first to start with okay let me push pause really quick Stop. okay all right let's do the same thing strike stroking upward upward and it's just because I have I'm trying to just create a lot of good growth in my brows so that I don't have such balding um, brows and then from there like to this point right here like that you can create those straight lines And these days, like, bigger brows is, like, a bigger deal anyway. So that's kind of cool. Um, let me finish, like, growing some width on these caterpillar brows for me here. Okay. And then we're just going to take it and taper it down and draw the rest of the brow giving it some definition letting it maintain as much width as possible that these little brows can have but these brows are just having such a hard time because I over plucked them darn thing like bald little caterpillars we like furry caterpillars Okay. All right. Now I need to find a um, brush with a, I mean, like a a wand with a brush on it, so I can brush them up. But until then, let's go ahead and do our lips. I'm just going to use the same color, bronzing color, for our lips. Now I'm not going to do um, foundation because I washed my face and I just prepped it for the evening because it's pretty late. It's um, I think it's like close to midnight, you know, and actually I'm nowhere close to going to bed, but I will be falling asleep after date night with John, so, um, I'm not planning to put any, con like, concealer or anything on, which I know that's probably, I will do a video, like, this week, I promise, here in mine, I'll, I'll make sure I do a video this week, where I'll do, like, full concealer and, um, contouring and baking and all of that awesome stuff, okay, so, just for you guys, I'll do that. But today is not going to be that day. Like, we'll just get through this and make ourselves look as good as possible without using um, that stuff. So, alright, I'm trying to make it so you could see. Now, the trick with the Cupid's bow, I keep on putting this in the way, I'm sorry. Trick with the Cupid's bow, I don't think my, my, um, phone is going to be a good enough mirror so I'm gonna to have to keep this right under it is taking your time and giving it a divot and this pencil is not as it's not dropping as much pigment as well as I'd like it to
So it's giving it a more blunt looking Cupid's bow, but it's still there. Like you can see the shape of it. All right. I really hate my scars. Look how many scars I have right here. It's like I got scratched by a cougar or something. Cougar. This is straight from my bike accident when I was nine. I've had them all my life. Okay, can you see what I'm doing here, guys? You can see. This is nowhere near the color of pigment I'm going to use for the night. It's just there to kind of line it, and it's not laying down some, it's not laying down super good definition. And I'm sorry about that. Okay, so, we want to have this lip looking even more pouty, like this. I'm going to do that. Look how dark that line is. So I'll do down here to draw it. Like, who framed Roger Rabbit? We're drawing our line. We're drawing our cartoonesque, cartoonesque look. Ow. Ow, this pencil is not sharpened very well. It's killing me. Alright. This isn't normally supposed to be this difficult. Oh my gosh. Okay. And it's so weird because while I'm laying this pigment down, I can tell it's not on my lip. It's like on my skin under my lip. And I'm just laying it down straight across. Across these scars here. The river of scars. The two twin rivers of scars. And I'm laying it down. Okay, so it looks sucky, but we're going to put some coloring on it now. That's okay. We'll do a, a more perfected, um, I'll get this chewed up lipstick, but it's a good color, so I'm, not, I'm still going to use it anyways. Not sure what happened. I think somebody tried to close it with it lifted up. I have a five-year-old who gets into my lipstick. I like this mattifying pigment. going on 20 minutes you guys already okay the center is feeling pretty good what do you guys think pigment because I'd already used that finger to wipe something off with. Ah, crap. Okay, here we go. We're going to fix it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay. That's good. The, look, the lips look pretty intense. What I like about rubbing my lips together is my bottom lip will kind of conform to the top of the cupid's bowl. Okay. 
Okay. The lips look good. Okay, so we need to do our eyes and we need to find a brush for like thinning, like smoothing out the look of our brows. Do some black. Let's do that. Let's do that next. It's a black eyeliner. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Using this, it's called Ultimate. It's a LA Colors product. Okay. All right. All right. So how we do this? We take our wand and move straight across and like a, a diagonal V and we color it in. That looks pretty good, huh? Okay, and we look down a little bit so we can straighten it across. Oh, that was not as small of a V as the last one. It's okay, we'll even it out in just a minute. And take it across and then fill it in. See how that looks. I mean like the definition between just, you know, just doing one little thing with black eyeliner just kind of makes it look like Amy Winehouse, you know. Okay. Okay, this way. Alright. Okay, hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Let's do the other side because it's still a little thicker on this side. And. Okay, here we go. There we go. I think that looks kind of even. The side peaks a little bit um, more dipped on that. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Now we're going to color in our wet lines and the bottom. Let's see. A lot of crayon stick that's easy. Try to do it one handed while we're holding on to the mirror. That looks good. Okay. That looks good. Alright. Let's go ahead and do some eyeshadow. What color do we want? I'm kind of wearing a purple color. Like purple is a white under color. And I got this dress material that's kind of got some purples and blues in it. I kind of want to use purple. I've got this palette I've been using with the mirror. This is a purple highlighter, and I think it will really pull out a good color. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Crease Brow Brush and just go ahead and dip it into the highlighter. And just brush along, sweep it along, and see what kind of pigment we can get out of that. We can do better. We can do more. Uh-huh. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. 
kind of pretty. Okay, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I know it's so annoying that I'm chewing my gum, but I'm just trying to keep my breath as minty fresh as possible. So when I kiss my lover, it'll, it's going to smell good. It's going to taste good. But we want to be refreshing all the way around in every way. Um, sorry, guys. I've been dealing with a nasty, nasty cold all week. And so finally, we're at a point where we're not feeling too sick anymore to function. And I'm well, 25 minutes, so I need to hurry this sucker up. Uh-huh. All right. I was pretty quick on, like, most of the procedures as far as this goes. Um, maybe I need to just be a little quicker on doing the brows. I mean, they don't look terrible, but they're really dark, and I kind of wanted to blend them a little better. Let's go ahead and grab some light color. Um, same brush. I'm going to use the same brush and use this lighter color and just... Um, under the brow, just kind of take under and let it lift. The lightest color, I I started using this one, but I'm going to this one instead. The pigments, the molecule pigments, or atoms, or whatever you call it, the little pigment pieces are actually smaller on the top one over, and that actually looks kind of blend, like smooth. It's not as blunt as looking. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add this color here, and... Let's grab the top part of it, the side right here, and run it over, and that kind of adds like this dusting that just kind of makes it look more natural, like a natural blend over the top. If it wasn't so such bad brows, um, it wouldn't be such an issue, but I have to, have to, have to grow them back like the best that I can. Okay. All right. I'll finish putting that in over there in the corner. Okay, so we can add a little bit of this here. I'm going to wash my face and get a little bit of shine here. Um, let's see, a little bit under my nose here and here. Down on the chin. There you go. All right, well, it is what it is, so that's what I'm going to do for tonight, just to kind of look as nice as I can without adding extra, um, you know, foundation, <laughs> concealer, and all that stuff. So that's what we're getting, is this. Okay? All right, so um, I'll see you on the next video I put out. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Perky Beck Show. I'm Amber Delight Beck, and we're here in Minot, uh, North Dakota, ready to do our show. We've got a six-nighter show Tuesday through Sunday where we play here at the Rock and Horse Saloon um, on East Burdick Drive, and we're just going to be here all week, so this is what it's going to look like a little bit. This is our room that we're staying in. There's two other rooms. It's a band house, full amenities, a full kitchen with a oven and everything and we're just taking advantage of having the house to ourselves and just going to enjoy our family time and our cuddle time and kissing time and thanks so much for tuning in if you didn't like it i'm sorry thank you so much for listening this long it's so hard to stay this focused for 29 minutes it's a long time so thank you thank you thank you um if you like to give it a thumbs up if you didn't don't give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you like it as well so thank you so much for tuning in we'll see you on the next video goodbye you guys